Greetings and salutations, my esteemed subscribers. I recently issued a wild hunt challenge in honor of Mars, but um, Nurgle, the kills god of the seas, spread the Wuhan virus and uh, closed basically all martial arts clubs, so we couldn't really do that particular challenge. So I thought we could launch another month of um, wild hunt challenge. And uh, May, as in mayhem, I always have the Highest motivation in May, because it's the almost summer, you want to get in good shape for summer, and I've always associated May with uh, high intensity, high thumos, and uh, you know, getting prepared, getting shredded for summer. Now I haven't cut in a few years, but I will actually do so this year, so I can post physique and reach um, more normies and red pill them and enlighten them and get them to take the glorious pill. Now, before I begin to elaborate on uh, the cut at hand, the challenge at hand, I would like to say that you can head on to legiogloria.com and sign up for our newsletter. We do have a launch coming later in the week, and it's also a measure of anti-fragility on my part to have a newsletter in case something should happen here on um, YouTube. So, if you're interested mainly in the clothing, Check it out and sign up for the newsletter. Of course, if you check out all my links in the description, you'll find my Telegram and other social media. Now also, a last note on all orders, be it about a book or clothing. There has been severe delays, especially to um, the US, Canada and Australia. So um, just a heads up so you know what's uh, going on. Now on to the challenge at hand. I won't issue any particular training goals for you to reach because I don't know who can go to the gym, who has access to what equipment, um, etc. So you can you say to yourself that you should try to train something every day. For everyone who has followed me on Patreon and Subscribestar via the Physique Manufactorum, you know I have trained quite a bit of um, shoulders as of late and also neck. So you can see my toad-like neck gains. My goal is to transform into a slan mage. This is what a slan mage looks like. It um, all Warhammer brass knows what I'm talking about. So I will attain ultimate magic powers to deal with a corrupt regime of Sweden. So anyway, um, this is also something I thought to mention. That is the glorious pill mentality and the wild hunt mentality. Is that you know I couldn't train in any martial arts clubs. I couldn't train in a regular gym. Because I wanted to stay safe from um, Nurgle's um, Wuhan virus, so I had to train at home. But, you know, I learned quite a bit new things. I've been at this for 10 years. I've been coaching for about 7 years. But you can always learn new things. And when you're being put in a position where the only option for you is to learn, yeah, then, uh, then you can see growth. So for me, I have been very happy with, um, you know, the progress I've seen, learning new exercises, feeling some good gains, both um, muscle gains and strength gains. I thought it was well past that stage, but uh, then it was a blessing in disguise. And this is also something you should think about if you are, you know, being completely thrown off your regular routine, make the most of the situation learn new things. Now I have learned plenty of things I can do without the gym. So even if I am, you know, able to go to the gym, uh, you know, there isn't any pandemic going on, but for whatever reason I want to train something else. Yeah, I can do so because now I've learned. So basically the training aspect, you can just try to train something every day. It can be high intensity interval training in the forest, if you can go out or something indoors. It's up to you. But since I named this title let's get shredded i haven't actually decided on what to call the challenge but um, 
something of the sort. We want to get a bit leaner for summer. We don't only want to do it because of aesthetics, we also want to do it because of health reasons. There is a study showing increased health markers in um, even healthy individuals when they cut for a while. And by cut I mean decrease calories over an extended, over an extended period of time. Uh, you shouldn't cut year round, but you know, cutting every once in a while can be a good idea. Both for your um, mental well-being, you know, you get the autophagy if you fast, you get uh, increased health markers by just reducing the calories, and of course, yeah, the aesthetic reason as well. So there is a lot of different things that uh, work as one, and you know, we have a holistic view of uh, training and nutrition on this channel. One thing works in favor of another thing. This also goes into politics, by the way, you know, I want to get guys to post physique and go to the gym, that way they will also adhere to enlightened political um, thinking. But anyway, on to the points at hand, this also depends on how much fat you have. If you have quite a bit of fat, I have three different things you can definitely adhere to. First and foremost is to not drink any calories, because if you drink calories, it, it has a tendency to you know skyrocket the calories, because it doesn't really satiate that well. The opposite is true, if you are skinny, you try to put on some mass, you want to drink more calories, because it's easy calories to get into uh, to your system. Second thing, go on a walk every day. I do so now as well, because I go with a princess uh, out for a walk. For about an hour, you can listen to some podcasts, you can listen to Caribbean Rhythms, or History of Rome, or whichever podcast you want. Third thing is to do intermittent fasting, so that means you eat lunch, another meal and then dinner, then you don't eat anything else. I technically do not do intermittent fasting right now because I have my butter and coconut oil coffee in the morning. I might cut it out later in the summer if I want to get even more shredded. I will see, time will tell. But I would definitely issue the following recommendation for this challenge. So here's the first commandment in this uh, challenge. No more eating after dinner. And I know this is a hard thing for many guys to do, you know what, it's nice to eat. You want something sweet or something savory, uh, if you watch a series or if you watch YouTube. Um, you want to comfort eat in the sofa, it's an understandable thing. But uh, first step is to not eat anything after dinner. So have a clear disciplined structure that you eat dinner, uh, you can brush your teeth, that makes it easier to withstand any temptations. So that is the first thing, no meals after dinner. If you have a regular routine, that is. Then of course you can also go directly to intermittent fasting, then you don't eat after dinner anyway. But uh, some guys like to eat breakfast, if you train earlier in the day it can be recommended to eat breakfast. But uh, that's the first thing at least. The second point of this challenge is to cut out all sugar. And when I mean sugar, I mean sugary things, so I don't mean that you can't eat fruit and drink milk. I still eat fruit and drink milk, but what I mean is pastries, sweets, ice cream, all of these sort of things. Uh, it gets easier to maintain a good diet when you cut out sugar, even if you have the same level of um, caloric intake. You know, the key to weight loss is calories in versus calories out, but you can make it harder for yourself or you can make it easier for yourself. For me, I want to make it as easy as possible for myself. Then I know if I cut out all sugar, everything gets uh, easier because uh, I have more stable energy levels. I'm not uh, as hungry. So those are the two main rules. So no eating after dinner and no added sugar. Then also, as is always the case with any wild hunt challenge, you have to abstain from any sort of degenerate behavior. So if you're still addicted to porn for whatever reason, that has to go. Uh, it's totally incongruent with the glorious pill mentality, with the wild hunt mentality to uh, fap to porn. You know, only animals in captivity or humans in captivity, they masturbate to porn. Uh, or masturbate. So we are free men here. In this culture we build, we want to be free men. We don't want the shackles of pornography, so throw that away. If you have some other sort of addiction, now is the best time to uh, cast it off. Then of course also, as I always say, you should read a book, you can read two books. For me personally, one of the highest luxuries in life is to sit in the sun with a good book. Just reading, taking it easy. A true luxury indeed. So anyway, that is the Wild Hunt Challenge of May, and uh, I hope you all take it to heart and that it improves your life in um, a good way. So thank you for watching, XXO. Boom!